now available. Paperback and Kindle Unlimited. Isis, the main event. It's carnage inside of a steel cage when the goddess next door steps in a squared circle with the beast from the box of this action-packed all-new Isis series. Former NBA point guard Ty Lawson has been banned for life by China's CBA after making comments on Instagram about Chinese women that could be considered sexual. Now, on Instagram, in his stories, Ty Lawson made a statement saying Chinese women got cakes, talking about Chinese women's butts, and in another picture, he is shown inside of a strip bar receiving a lap dance from a Chinese stripper, and he posts the comment, YOLO, I guess, LOL. And after seeing these sexualized images of Ty Lawson interacting with Chinese women, this was the thing that got many in China's CBA and possibly the Chinese government so upset that they wanted to ban your Ty Lawson for life. And I believe they wanted to ban your Ty Lawson for life as a punishment for having a sexualized interaction with Chinese women and expressing interest in Chinese women in a sexualized manner. Because in the country of China, they promote a nationalist culture, and that nationalist culture is all about promoting Chinese men with Chinese women, and they a frown upon your black man having any sort of sexual interest or sexual access in Chinese women. Now, what's interesting is, is that many of these same Chinese men in the government and business would have no problem with a white male going out here and expressing sexual interest, but that's all part of the global concept of white supremacy. It's okay for the white man to go out here and express sexual interest and have sexual access to Chinese women, but if a black man, the man the world considers the bottom of the world, expresses that interest, they go out of their way to punish that black man for doing this. And it's very similar to what went on in the Jim Crow South. In the Jim Crow South, if a black man went out here and expressed sexual interest in a white woman, what would happen to that black man is, at minimum, he would lose his job, and in the worst case scenario, he would lose his life in a lynching. So, your Ty Lawson is practically being punished for going out here and, again, expressing sexual interest in Chinese women inside the People's Republic of China. And that's, and he's possibly, and he's getting off fairly easy as I see it, because in the worst case scenario, he could have wound up like the late Bakari Henderson. And in the case of the late Bakari Henderson, he wound up losing his life because he was overseas in Greece. He was doing business in Greece, just like your Ty Lawson, and he decided to go to one of these bars where these Serbian guys were at, and he decided to take a selfie with one of these women, and he got rushed and mobbed and was murdered. And sadly, that could have been a situation that Ty Lawson could have run into, and it all could have happened because what in both the cases of Bakari Henderson and your Ty Lawson, both of these men were not taught the unwritten social rules as related to black men having interactions with women overseas. Because in these countries, a lot of these males over here, especially a lot of those beta males, they frown it upon black men going out here and expressing sexual interest in their women. And a lot of these males they can get so angry that they can, they want to go out here and do harm to black males because they don't believe that the black man's life has much value, and they believe that they are in their rights to go out here and do harm to a black man. And that's why a black man has to go out of his way to watch himself in these countries because you are putting... Your, not only your livelihood at risk, but you're also putting your safety and freedom at risk 
if you have an interaction with one of these females in these countries and these kind of guys go out here and see it. And this is what black men have to look out for when they're going out here traveling. They have to get an education in the unwritten social rules as related to black male interactions and black males going out here to travel because these unwritten social rules can save your job and they can possibly save your life. Unfortunately, your Ty Lawson didn't get an education in those unwritten social rules and he thought that he could go and do things like he did here in the United States of America because here in the United States of America you can go out here and talk about your Asian woman, you can flirt with Asian women and you can have sexual relations with Asian women and no one will get upset about it. However, in the Nationalist People's Republic of China, this is frowned upon and this is something that they don't want promoted in their culture and not something they wanted promoted in their society. And you can say that it's racist, but when you go to somebody else's country to work, you are working on their terms and that's something Ty Lawson really didn't understand about working in China's CBA. He was working in their country, he was working on their terms, and all they wanted him to do was be the big black man who dribbled the basketball and made the money for them. That's all they wanted from your Ty Lawson was to be a big black ball player and when he started to become what they thought was a big black buck, that's when they decided to bounce him out of the CBA. And they bounced him out of the CBA because their unwritten social rule was, you can play basketball for us, but you can't go out here and get in the bed with our women. We're not going to tolerate you going out here and using our women as a sexual resource. We are not giving you sexual access to our women. All we want you to do is go out here and play this basketball. And that's all these Chinese racists wanted your Ty Lawson to do was be that big black buck who goes out here and dunks the basketballs, but they didn't want him dribbling those balls on the backsides of their females. So your Ty Lawson learned the hard way about your Chinese supremacy and he learned the hard way about Chinese racism because you have a lot of people out here thinking that the people in China are tolerant but we hear, see from this example that the CBA and the government are not as tolerant as people think they are because We've seen incidents in Africa of Chinese participating in racism against Africans, and now we see an example of Chinese expressing racism towards African Americans with this ban that Ty Lawson has received. And this again shows us that your Chinese supremacy is anti-black racism, and that this anti-black racism was about punishing a black man for expressing sexual interest in a Chinese woman and going out here out of their way to participate in what I call a technical lynching of a black man because they wanted to take his livelihood and they know if they take his livelihood and his access to economic resources, then they take a lot of his way of living his life. So this is all about punishing a black man sending a message to other black men out here, like these passport black males, that if you go to our country and you interact with our women, we are going to go out of our way to, you, to send a message to you that you will be punished severely if you have any, expressing any sexual interest in a Chinese woman. So that's the message that the People's Republic of China wanted to send to your Ty Lawson, and it's the message that they wanted to send to black men 
all across the globe, especially black American men. If you mess with our women, we are going to punish you severely. So this is the message that will fly over the heads of many people they, because they don't understand the unwritten social rules as related to traveling overseas for black men. They have no problem with you working for them and making them money. But the minute you start talking about getting sexual access to Chinese women, that's when the men of the Chinese society will go out of their way to send a message to you that you're not going to make money in our society and then go out here and then think you're going to have relationships with our women. No, they're not going to allow you to go into their society and their civilization and think you are an equal. No, they see you as nothing more than a slave and nothing more than slave labor. And now they have kicked out Ty Lawson because he only wanted to live once, and the Chinese said, you're not going to live here on our land, messing with our women, and taking and using our money and having a good time at our expense. They didn't allow that because these, these nationalists, just like the racists here in America, want to see themselves on top. But what's really interesting, again, is if a white male walked into that same space, he would get access to those women. And again, that shows us how they, want, they live in a smooth world and how they only see the black man at the bottom and they only want to see the black man at the bottom. He can go out here again and go out here and play this basketball, but he cannot be anybody of any value to their society and they don't want him to be seen as anything more than, again, than a black buck. And that black buck has to go out here and do his labors, but he cannot go out here and pay attention to their women. Because if you pay attention to their women and you talk about playing with play, having them having slap those balls to the wall, they're going to bounce you right out of their country. If you'd like to see me make more videos like this, you can donate to my Patreon, my PayPal, or my Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. And if you want to pick up my men's issues books on the SJS Direct imprint, like Stop Simping and Stop Simping in the Workplace, you can find those books on Amazon.com. You can also find The Man Crisis on Amazon.com. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment and subscribe. Coming to paperback and Kindle this fall, E-Steam Blast from the Past. Hell's aspiring angel takes on her demonic doppelganger in this time-traveling, action-packed E-Steam series adventure. Pre-order your copy of E-Steam Blast from the